All right, gang, let's deal with this bubble sort in Python. Now, I apologize ahead of time. It's pouring down rain here, so there's some background noise, thunder, lightning, all that. So we're given a certain amount of code, and they, they actually gave us a great deal of code in this. Uh, they've created our while loop for us. While household size is not 999. So somebody's going to enter in their household size, and we see it here. And household size is then converted into an integer. And then we append that to a list that we create called household sizes. So household sizes is here. So somebody's going to enter in how big their household is, and then we're going to store that at the tail end of household sizes. Count how many times this action's done, and then we do it again. That's what they give us so far. Now, if we run this, it says, enter how many? Well, there's 23 in the house, 45, 999. And that gets me out. So the code actually works now, but it doesn't do what we want it to do in that it doesn't go through and sort out the list that we've created. It doesn't calculate what the average or the mean is of the values that have been input, and it doesn't figure out what the median is or the halfway point in the list after it's been sorted out. So let's go through and get a little bit of housekeeping done on this while loop. Now in our while loop, okay, we've got to keep track of before we append that. Let's go ahead and keep a running total. And we've got this total here. So let's say total plus equals household size. So if it is a valid household size, it will be added to total and every time we go through it, it will increase our total. So that's going to keep track of how much we have. Num sizes is how many times we've gone through it. Those two things together will help us to calculate what our mean is. And the mean is mean equals... And how do we calculate a mean? Well, it's the total divided by num sizes, or how many times we've gone through this cycle. So we got a little bit done here. We've, we've gone through and we've captured data, and we've performed this calculation. And we've stored it for future use. Can track of how many times. We've let them do it again. So let's think, what else do we have to do? What else do we have to do? Well, let's come down and let's look we found the mean let's let's go ahead and sort this thing out for i in range and what range do we want well, i want num sizes I want to go through this cycle. For each item in there, 
I want to go through and I also want to say I'm going to use that same for loop so I want to nest this so I'm doing it an exponential amount of times so I'll say num size is and on this one I'm going to say minus one because in this one you'll see what we do here in a second we're going to compare one item with what's the next one in the list so I want to say if and I'm at household sizes is the list that I'm dealing with household sizes index I is greater than household sizes index I didn't want one I wanted I back up there I plus one so if the first one in the list is bigger than the second one then now we've got to do that little swap deal that we've done and we're going to say oh let me put my colon in there and we're gonna say temp is going to get whatever's in that first position and now I'll come oops and I'll come down and I'll say sizes I is equal to house sizes I plus one and then the next line will be house sizes I plus one equals temp so I took whatever whatever was in one position, copied it over to temp. Took position two, put it in position one, and then whatever was in position two got the new value of what's in temp. So that's our way to swap with a little temp variable a little storage place to hold it in the meantime while we move things around so the fact that we've gone through this in a nested fashion that will allow us to actually perform the sort if we just go through it one time it's not going to work out for us so let's see let's go display the array um, item in household sizes print item See if that should twenty three one three eight two sixty seven four nine nine nine. It went through and printed out what was in the list and it sorted it out for us. So for each item that is in household sizes, print that item. And that was the quick little keep track of what we had going on in the list itself. So now the median, the median can be difficult for some people. And I'll admit, at times it gets frustrating for me. And the catch is we've got to use the modulus. 
Now, the modulus may be very new to you, or it, it may be absolutely new to you. Is he, you've never dealt with it before, or it could be something you've dealt with in the past and just didn't quite get it. Well, let's, let's go through and we'll talk about it, and hopefully after we're through with this, you'll understand what it is that we're doing. All right. So, I want to come up here real quick. Let's print out what the mean is. Print the mean is comma mean. I'm not concatenating this one. I'm passing two values. We'll deal with that. Uh, we've got a couple more chapters. I think one or two more chapters before we hit this. Maybe in the next chapter. Um, but I want to kind of deal with it now. It's easier. And I don't pass just one string with that's been concatenated all together. I'm passing multiple values to this. So that will go ahead and print out what the mean is. And let's come down to the median. Now, in this median, what I need to do is I need to find out if the number of items in the list over here is an odd or even number. Now, the median is the one that's halfway through. What's halfway through this list? Now, it's not halfway between 1 and 67. It's which one is halfway. So if it's an odd number, like it is here, 4 would be the median. But what if it's an even number? If it's an even number, you take the 2 and you divide them by 2. So we've got to find out if it's odd or even. How do we find out if it's odd or even? Well, let's say if... And what it boils down to is num sizes. Num sizes. And if I divide num sizes by 2, if I divide num sizes by 2, the way that I know if it's odd or even is if num sizes divided by 2, is an integer having no remainder, then it's even. If num size is divided by 2 has a fractional or a remainder, then it's odd. So if I say if num sizes percent 2, what that means is modulus 2 is equivalent to zero, meaning there is no remainder. If num size is divided by two has no remainder, the modulus is we're checking to see what the remainder is. If there is no remainder, then we know what? If no remainder, it's even. Okay, so let's come here. Put a comment. Even. Let's do the same thing. Come down a little bit. And I say that it's not equivalent to zero. Odd. Okay. Now that helped us figure out if it's odd or even. One way is odd, the other way is even. So, let's come down and see what do we have to do if it's even. If it's even, then I've got to take the two and I've got to do, do some di division in there. So let's let's come up with we got to find out what the items are. 
And I, I need to find out what the two in the middle are. I'll well, find out the two in the middle. If I have six items, six items, let's say, I want to find out what the index is. So I'll say index one, I want the index of two items. Index one is equivalent to, and I need it to be an integer, num sizes divided by two, and that will give me, so if there's six items, six divided by two is three. So that will give me one of those items. Now, let me go ahead. I'm going to put minus one because I want it to be the first one in the list. Okay. And the next one, copy this. That'll be index two. Num size is divided by two. So that give me the second one in the middle. So the low side of the middle and the high side of the middle. And what is it that I want to do? Well, I want to, and all that, all that gave me was the indices. I don't have the values, I just have the index. So I can say median is equivalent to or equals. And what we had up here was household sizes is the name of our list. Household sizes index one. plus household sizes index two. And I'm going to take that and divide it by two. Let's make sure that it is still an integer. So that gave me the median. I'm going to come down on the next one. Median equals, and on this other one, it's just household sizes and how do I know what the number is, what the index is? Well, it's num sizes divided by two. Make sure that's an integer. Okay. Now I'll come down here and we'll say print. Median is comma median. So let's go ahead and run this. Seven, four, nine, two, ten, three, eight, nine, nine, nine to get out says the mean is 6.14. It sorted things out nicely for me. And the median is 7. Okay, I like the way it's done. Let's come and take that print statement of the mean. We'll cut it out of there. And we'll put it right in front of the median so that both those values are coming out at the same time. Just a little bit cleaner. Let's go ahead and test it and see what it does. 
Well, let's see if Cody likes what we've done. It says that I've got a little bit of an issue. And it says that I have messed up my value num sizes by not capitalizing the S. Test it again. There we go. So we've tested out fine. It is running. I got through it because I got lucky it was an odd number that I entered. Had I entered an even, it would have choked on me. So we've gone through, we've sorted this thing out, we've collected it, accumulated, counted. And gone get we've got our sentinel reacquisition here to test it again calculated the mean we went through and we sorted and here's our sort and we call it a bubble sort because we put one value over into a temporary holder and that's our bubble if you will so the fact that we've gone through it the way we've gone through it that made sure it was a all sorted out and we tested to see if it was sorted out by printing out for item in household sizes print the item that printed our list out for us and here we go through and calculate the median whether it's odd or even and we print out the mean and the median so